Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Yogesh Daikwad and today we are going to understand about what is critical value and how to find out the Z critical value. Critical value is any value or the line on the graph which separate your graph into the two region. First is the rejection region and second is acceptance region. Now this critical value is very useful for the hypothesis testing as we all are aware that there are several steps of the hypothesis testing. First is state the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Second is determine the significant level. Third is run the test statistics. Researcher is comparing this test statistics value with the critical value. Now look at this graph. Here this line is representing the critical value. Now suppose if this value is 2.2 and through the test statistics if we get the value 2.3. Now definitely this 2.3 is greater than 2.2 means this 2.3 will fall into this region and this is the rejection region. Therefore, we can say that test statistics value is greater than critical value. Therefore, researcher will reject the null hypothesis. From this example, we can understand this critical value is useful to decide whether we should accept the null hypothesis or whether we should reject the null hypothesis. Now, after the critical value, the next question is how to find out this critical value. Now, let us take first example. In this first example, researcher want to identify Z critical value for right tail test and given significant level that is alpha is 5%. Now this is right tail test. Right tail test means critical value will be situated at the right side, right corner of the distribution curve. Here alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Now here this region is nothing but the rejection region and it is represented by the alpha and this region is nothing but the acceptance region or fail to reject region and this is nothing but the 1 minus alpha. Now next step is we have to minus this 0 0.05 from 1 therefore 1 minus 0 0.05 is equal to 0 0.95. Now the next step is we have to find out this 0 0.95 value into the z table. If you look at the table this 0 0.95 value is close to this 0 0.9495 value. Therefore, now this value is important for us for finding out the critical value. Now finding out the critical value, now here this value is very important 1.64 and 0 0.04. Therefore, our critical value is 1.64. Now look at the second example. In the second example, researcher want to find out the Z critical value for right tail test and the alpha that is significant level is 0 0.0079. Again here it is a right tail test therefore critical value will be at the right side at the normal distribution curve here is the alpha and this side is this section is nothing but the 1 minus alpha. Alpha is 0 0.079 that is the rejection region and 1 minus alpha is 0 0.9921. Now next step is we should find out this 0 0.9921 into the z table. Now this is the z table. Now find out this 0.9921 value in the z table. Now if you look at this z table 0.9921 this value is here 0.9921. Now therefore these two numbers are important 2.4 and 0 0.02. Therefore here our value is 2.42. Now look at the next example find out the critical value of z for left tail test. Now here in distribution curve our left tail test is the left side of the distribution means at this side this is alpha and this is 1 minus alpha this is rejection region and this is acceptance region or fail to reject region here alpha is 0 0.012 here alpha is 0 0.012 now next step is we have to minus this alpha from 1 now 1 minus 0 0.012 is equal to 0 0.988 now next step is we have to find out this 0.988 value into the z table. Now look at the z table and find out the value 0.988. This 0.988 value is here 0.9881. Now for this value these two numbers are very important 2.2 and 0.06. Now therefore our critical value is 2.2. Two, six. Now look at the next example. Now this next example is for two tail test. Find out the Z critical value for two tail test and the significant level is 5%.
this is our normal distribution curve and two tail test means our critical value is at the left side also and at the right side also means left side our alpha value is alpha by 2 and right side our alpha value is alpha by 2 means we have to divide our alpha by 2 now here suppose if we divide our alpha by 2 it is a 2.5 percent means suppose if we divide alpha by 2 means at one side we will get a value 2.5 percent and other side we will get a value 2.5 percent now for two tail test first of all find out the value of the left tail test. now how to find out the value of the left test then we should minus the alpha by 2 this value that is 0.025 this value from 1 therefore 1 minus 0.02 is equal to 0.975 now look at the z table and find out this 0.97 value in the z table 0.975 this value is situated here again here two points are very important 1.9 and 0.06 therefore side our critical value is 1.96 the same value you can write on the side with minus side 1.96 Therefore, for two tail test, we will get a two value for 0 0.5, one this side and one this side. Here is the positive value and here is the negative value. Here we can write 1.96 and here we can write minus 1.96. With this note, I would like to end this video. I would be making a lot of video on hypothesis testing and business research method. So, stay tuned to this channel and do not forget to subscribe it. Thank you for watching this video.